Yeah, sorry about that. My camera cut off. I don't know why my camera keeps cutting off. It's really weird. I have 22 minutes on my phone. This video will have a good, I don't know, five, six parts. Yeah. Peter will accept my deal. Though. He'll be happy. He'll be alive. It's a good deal. He'll be happy. He sees he signed a deal for a lifetime. It's a massive contract. A five hundred million dollar contract is a massive because because Peter was thinking about the bigger picture, about the amount of money Vig, me and Vijay are gonna make. He might feel a bit like humiliated and downgraded, obviously, because yeah, we're make, me and Vijay are making way more than him. Yes, because we're much bigger than you, Peter. That's why I'm making way more than you. you know what I'm saying? But he'll accept my deal. Ivan, that's a good deal. A five hundred million dollar deal, Ivan, is a good deal for Peter. Ivan, he he doesn't even make his hallway. Yeah, you don't make his hallway, Peter. It's a good deal. Pierre not only signed his five hundred million deal, he also he's he's also gonna make some good side money. The, the world tour earnings, I don't know, he might make three hundred fifty k in world tour in speaking fees. His commercial money and his commercial money too. He'll make a good I don't know sixty thousand in commercial money. Peter Jackson. They'll make a lot of money, yeah. Some nice side money. Because actors in Hollywood also make side money too. They they get they do commercials, they get featured in the magazines, they get paid for that. Actors can get actors can get paid anywhere from 10, 25, 50 grand to be featured on a magazine. 250k to be featured on a magazine. So Peter will make some good side money. The world the world tour speaking, the, the speaking earnings. Couple hundred grand in his commercial money, a good sixty grand in commercial money. It's a good paycheck for Peter Jackson. I can easily pay Peter more for commercial. I'm not gonna rip me off. Sissy K is a good paycheck for a fucking commercial. I'm not gonna pay you any more than that. That's a good paycheck. Obviously, let's talk duties now. So Peter Jackson, if I hire him, obviously, assuming I hire him, because I might hire him out this you, Peter. Don't hate me. He'll help. He'll help me co-write the script, the Zena script. Obviously, every morning from nine to twelve, he co-writes the script with me. We get two for new breaks. We get a one hour lunch break from 12 to 1, and then we do concert arts in the afternoon from 1 to 5, and we get two for breaks. That's how it's going to work for the, for, for, the, for, the, for the daily routine. Totally sure I'm your prep, yes. And then Peter will take his notes every at, every evening after after work is finished at 5. We'll go to Mall Tour. You can have Fran help him if you want to. Peter, your wife, your wife is more than happy to help if you want, if you want, if you need her help. Have her help him if you want. And then what? He will help me make the... Um, he'll consult with the seven team a little bit. Obviously, he'll also help me sign the contracts. Okay, Peter, I want you... Okay, I'm more than happy to help you. Yeah, help me sign all the guys the first year. Weather workshop, the costume designers, the people overseeing the actors. Help me sign all those guys. I'll fly in a good, I don't know, 40, 50 team of extras. The, 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 the extra casting people, obviously. 50 people, 40, 50 people is enough to oversee 60,000 actors. That's enough people. And I'll hire a good maybe 60, 70 weather workshop guys to work on the armor, costume, the armor and weapons. And then hire a good maybe 25, 30 costume designers to design all the costumes. And Peter will help me sign all those guys the first year. I'm also going to fly in the trainer and the nutritionist the first year too. As well as the, uh, the dialect coach. To train the actors in old English style speech, I'm gonna hire a doc, two dialect coaches to train, to train all the actors the third year. Have Peter uh, help you sign all those guys. You know what I'm saying? And Peter might tell me, Ivan, you're being here with your parents, man. You're paying, you know what I'm saying? You're paying all, 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 all the crew in the 150k. I think that's a bit too rich, Ivan. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just pay, pay, pay Ivan, pay them 100k. Don't pay them 150k. That's too much. You gotta watch out for your budget, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? Peter, I have enough money. Ivan, 150K is, is a big con on your budget, man. You got to be careful, Ivan. Ivan, you don't have to pay him that. Pay them a good, like, 60, 70K. That's good enough. They can feed the families with that money. I'm like, Peter, it's easier for you to say that. You sign your 500 million dollar deal. You know what I'm saying? It's easier for you to say that, Peter, when you sign a rich deal, man. Like, no, Peter. Like, if you want the crewmen to work harder for you, you don't want them quitting on you and slacking off more. Pay them a lot of money that way they work harder for you, and the hand you'll get a better movie. You want these, these construction crewmen, the costume designers, what it works on them to create the best armor, Possible, the best weapons possible, even better than your Lord of the Rings movie. You know what I'm saying? Build the unheard of sets. Put pour their heart, their blood, sweat, and tears into building all the sets. 
Pay them a rich sorry. There's nothing worse than doing blood, sweat, and tears for peanuts, Peter. Pay them a good sorry. Okay, I what you're saying. They're going to work hard for you. Yeah, they're going to work hard for you, Peter. They're going to work hard for you. Really, Ivan? Yes, they're, 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 they're going to work harder for, har, 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 harder for what? They're going to work harder for me. Um, and Peter. Because I paid the Lord, the Lord makes me want for the chaos. And Peter will help me make the calls for the main, like, uh, the main, like, I don't know, nine things. So he'll help me, he'll help me make the call for the Virgin Dark Resort two-day party and the Red Carpet event. Fly in all the owners, call, call up Virgin Dark Resort, fly in the owners and managers and the organizers, and we, we sign that Temple and Women deal. They sign that Temple Women Women deal for the, the two-day party event and the Red Carpet event. A red carpet event will be short. It'll only be a good like four hours long. Hey, make the red carpet event short. Make it a good a four. Make it a good four hour event. And after that, the, the event ends, and we, we, we you, the hotel hosts that that amazing party for two days, for the entire cast and crew, booked VIP for the entire cast and crew. Peter will help me uh, make uh, make those calls. He'll help me make the calls for the IMAX cameras. I'm gonna rent a good ten, eleven. I'm gonna ask Peter. Peter, do we really need twenty cameras? No, Ivan, we don't. It's a waste of money. 11 cameras, 11 cameras, 11, 10, 11 cameras is enough, Ivan, yeah, because I heard in the Hobbit they rented like 27 cameras, something crazy, I'm like, Peter, how much those cameras did you even use? Yeah, I mean, we didn't use half the cameras, yeah, hence why I don't want to rent like 30, 20 cameras, I don't want to waste money, let's rent a good 10, 11 cameras, IMAX cameras, it's enough, they helped me make the calls for the 10, 11 film IMAX cameras, the best IMAX cameras in Hollywood we can rent. That'll cost me millions. It'll cost me probably a good four, five, six million bucks to rent like 10, 11 cameras. Seven million bucks maybe around there. Something pricey, man. Uh, he also helped me with the equipment for the cameras. The drones, the camera stands, the gliding equipment that moves the cameras, all that stuff. He helped me make all those calls. The lighting equipment, the speakers, he has to help the equipment for the cameras. He has to help me make all those calls. The best lighting equipment, the best speakers we can rent in Hollywood for the cameras. I'm also going to update all the cameras. Hey, is it possible we can update the IMAX cameras? Yeah, we can do that for you. We can put speakers on it. We can put, we can add more lens for better focus. That way you get a better movie. And if you add, if you have all the technology applied towards that and the 8K Blu-ray effect, you're looking at an amazing experience. People are like, oh, I mean, look at something I heard of for your movie, man. If you really, if you pour all the technology towards your movie and you, and you, and you also have the 8K Blu-ray effect, you're looking at something amazing for your movie, an 8K world, Ivan, something beautiful, Ivan. Something bread and Pandora. I'm like, yeah, you're looking at something amazing. He helped me make the call for that. He also helped me make the call for the uh, the costumes. So the, the the sewing equipment machines for creating the costumes, we can rent the best ones in Hollywood to, to, for the for the costumes. Obviously, the equipment for creating the armor and weapons. He'll help me make the calls for that for Water Workshop, as well as the machining for the mask, for creating all the demonic masks for the wolves and bat for the wolf and bat characters. Um. Whereas the, the crows and the eagles will be full CGI. The crows and the eagles will be full CGI. Whereas the, the, wolf, the wolves and um and, and the wolves and bats and all them, I don't want them full CGI. They wear they wear a demonic uh they wear a demonic mask and costume. But I'm going to be applying the four hundred and all swords special effects CGI towards those demonic masks. That's why they're gonna look very amazing, but they're gonna look more uh, more natural too. You have the fifty fifty balance. So the wolves and bats are not full CGI characters, whereas the eagles and crows you have to have them full CGI. The stags, the wild ravens, the wild crows, and all of them, they're all CGI characters. The jaguars, CGI. The mosquitoes, CGI. Whereas, whereas, whereas the wolves and bats, I don't want them full CGI. You'll have the balance of CGI and, 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 and practical effects, but I don't want them full CGI for the wolves and bats. Okay, so you want the 50 50 balance for air on them. Yes, Peter. They look very amazing. You apply the special effects towards the, the costumes, the costumes, armor, weapons. They look very amazing, like your ring race, Lord of the Rings, but they also look more natural. So you want the 50 50 balance of my room, like my ring and in Fellowship Ring? Yes, Peter, something like that. Okay, I see what you're saying. Some fair? That way Peter notes. That way Peter notes. That way Peter notes. That way, Peter knows.
So there. He'll help. He'll also help me with the CGI stuff. The interesting one, the CGI special effects equipment. So all the stuff that the editors and VFX artists and the sound department use for 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 for, for, for working on a movie for for the special effects. Me, Peter will help me rent all that equipment. And the people are gonna guarantee you asking Ivan how much. Okay, you're gonna ask Peter, Peter, how much money are you putting towards the movie? I don't know, four hundred for I bought four hundred for twenty million dollars. Tell them that. And the guys are like, what? Say that again? Four hundred twenty million dollars? Like, holy shit, Ivan! You know what I'm saying? That's the biggest. This is the most expensive movie ever made. Like, no movie has ever put that much money towards special. I was looking at revolutionary technology, your action sequences, your world building, and your horror, your demon wolves and bats. Yeah, man. And the crow is looking something amazing. An amazing movie, yeah. And Peter will help me with the food. So we're gonna have to call all the farms. Call all call the farms in Switzerland. I'm gonna call the farm in Switzerland. That way it saves me money. I don't want to call a farm in Canada or, or the States and have to ship the food there. No. Call let's find farms in Switzerland. That way it's easier for us to ship the food. And we buy all the food. The beef, the pork, the chicken, the rice, the dough. The flour, you know, I'm saying the veggies, the cheese, you know, what I'm saying the veggies, the cheese, obviously, all that stuff. The, for the, the, you know, I'm saying the eggs, we need to buy eggs for breakfast, obviously. The dough for, for, for the cake, the cheese for the cheesecake. You know what I'm saying? For the, you know what I'm saying? Whereas the milkshake, coffee, French vanilla, and the soft drinks, that stuff we'll just we'll just call a top notch company that creates all that stuff, and we just buy a bunch of bunch of, buy a bunch of uh, soft drinks and uh, um, soft drinks that go with the vending machine, right? And the, the, the French vanilla coffee, we just call the best company in Swiss and we buy all that for the coffee, French vanilla, the soft drinks, and 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 and, 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 and the milkshakes. And we got Peter will help me rent all the vending machines. We need to rent. We need to rent. Okay, if we have fifty hundred people, we got to rent a lot of vending machines. Rent a good six to eight vending machines for, for the crewmen, for the soft drinks and the milkshake, as well as the coffee, French vanilla, and tea or something like that. I heard Peter likes tea, so you can have tea. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really a big coffee guy. I like tea. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll have. We can, we can we can buy tea too. That way you have tea for yourself when when you work. And have a nice tea because I I saw behind the scenes Peter had his tea with him. He he had a lot of tea. He, he always had his cup of tea with him when he while he was um directing. Cause I heard Peter Jackson likes tea. I heard according when I saw it behind the scenes. And it'll help me with the with the with the with the kitchen equipment. People would be like Ivan, you don't have to rent the kitchen equipment. Just rent trailers, Ivan. Like, it'll save you money, Ivan. Like Peter, I have a big budget. I can easily afford to rent kitchen equipment. Yeah, Ivan, you, you can easily afford. Yeah, I can easily afford to rent the best kitchen equipment. You want to give the chefs and, and people a good experience. There's nothing worse than having chefs cook all this food in a fucking trailer. No. Rent a, a, a top notch kitchen equipment, a nice oven, a nice stove, everything. A nice area where you store all the food for the buffet, the hot plate, right? You know what I'm saying? You have a nice... I, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then my seven team will make the calls for the chairs and the tables for everyone to sit down. And the pavilion tents that they're, that they're going to build. Hey, Peter, I want to build a pavilion tent. Uh, and that's the, the the chefs are gonna work in some big pavilion tent, and that's where all the uh that's where they're gonna make the food obviously in the kitchen, and that's where they're gonna store all the food. I'm gonna tell them whenever you store the the store the store the buffet food obviously make sure you store it in the pavilion tent. Don't store it outside, as it can rain and you you have flies and all that stuff. No, store it in in inside, and you have an area where people can eat inside the pavilion tent and outside the pavilion tent. That way, when it rains, everyone can eat inside. When it doesn't rain, it's a beautiful day. You can eat outside, or you can eat inside if you want. Tell tell uh, Peter Nolan that way they know. Obviously, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna have to have that meeting with Peter and my head chefs. Obviously, they're gonna, we're gonna have to sit down and like, yeah, Ivan. They're gonna tell me, yeah, Ivan. How much extras are you gonna have in your movie? By the way, how much people are we feeding Ivan? Yeah, we're, we're, I have 1,500 crewmen. Okay, you have 1,500 crewmen. Okay, I want three sections of buffets. That way, you don't solve the line. Three sections, of, see, three sections that fit 500 people. So there'll be three sections of buffets, and 500 people each are going are going to each section. They go they go to each section. That way you don't solve. Like, if you have 500 people wait, you're looking at a long line. Have three different sections. That way you don't you don't you don't have a long wait. If there's just 500 people. There people are only gonna people are only gonna wait for maybe a good 15 minutes. Not that long. A good 15, 16 minutes. Everyone will get their food. It'll go by fast. 
500 people is not that will go by fast. Whereas 1,500 people, you're looking at a long ass line. You can't. You have to have three different sections. Okay, Ivan, how much chefs? Okay, okay, guys, how much chefs am I gonna need? Ivan, you're gonna need a good look. At least at least a good 30, 35 chefs to to, to, to cook food for 1,500 people. Three day, three times a day. Okay, so have a good on eleven chefs in each sec in each sec in each of the three sections. Eleven chefs in each of the three sections, around there. That's where the chefs are going to cook the food. Obviously, you know what I'm saying. And I'm like, guys, what about the extras, Ivan? I'm like, they're gonna, they're gonna, the extras are going to are going to want a piece of that menu, man. Peter's like, yeah, Ivan. If you serve the crew with this kind of food and the extras are working, they're going to want a piece of that menu, Ivan. Yeah, but Ivan, we can't feed them, Ivan. Like it's it's it's, it's going to stall production. Yeah, if we we have a gathering of thirty thousand people, five thousand people, a thousand people, we can't we can't feed them, Ivan. It's going to stall production. A thousand people, Ivan, is a lot of people, Ivan. Yeah, it is. I worked at a restaurant. I did dishwashing in a restaurant. I remember when it was three hundred people. It was fucking crazy. Imagine fifty hundred people with the crewman. That's already crazy enough. And another thirty thousand people. We can't feed them. Yeah, Ivan, fuck the extras. We can't feed them. We just asked him like, oh, Ivan, fuck the extras. We can't feed them. They're gonna have to bring their own lunch. Yeah, you're paying them one eighty dollars. They can easily afford to bring their own lunch. Yeah, Peter, one eighty dollars is a good paycheck, Ivan. It's a, it's a good, it's a nine to five job paycheck, Ivan. They can easily bring food from home. They can easily afford, afford to buy their own food. You're paying them a lot of money, Ivan. You don't have to feed them, Ivan. Yeah, we can't feed them, Ivan. Yeah, I can do a thing where if there's leftovers, the actors can demolish the leftovers. Where it's first come, it's first serve. But we can't feed thirty thousand, five thousand extras when, when, when we do gatherings. We can't even feed three hundred extras if there's three hundred extras. It's gonna stall production. They're gonna finish all our food. Yeah, oh, Ivan. The head chefs are gonna be like, oh, Ivan, fuck, fuck the extras, Ivan. We can't feed them. It's 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 gonna stall production. Yeah, it's gonna stall production. Guaranteed. It's gonna stall production. But the actors are gonna want a piece of that menu, man, because they're, because they're gonna they're gonna see the kind of food I'm serving them, the nice poutine, crispy fries. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the uh, the thin crust pizza with garlic sauce and nice sliders. You know what I'm saying? The ribs. They see those ribs. They see those wings. Sweet and sour barbecue ribs or, or wings and ribs. Boneless ribs, right? You know what I'm saying? They see the the, the, the fried or the fried rice. Like a couple options of fried rice. You know what I'm saying? They see the teriyaki meats. The pork. The pork, beef, and chicken. Salty, spicy, sweet. They see the chicken balls. They see the huge salad bar, potato salad, macaroni salad, you know what I'm saying, coleslaw, peas, corn, um, um, green peppers. I'll even have them make sautéed green peppers, sautéed green peppers, sautéed red peppers, you know what I'm saying, the cucumbers, the carrots, they're like, holy shit, and they see the all-you-can-drink milkshake, the soft drink, Mountain Dew, Orange Crush, 7-Up, Coke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Fruitopia, you know what I'm saying? Orange juice, like, holy shit, I even spoil it. I want a piece of that menu, man. It's, it's going to be so bad, the extras are going to, like, stare. They're going to they're gonna constantly kill. Hopefully there's, hopefully there's enough leftovers for us. But I told you, chances are it's not going to happen. As a crewman and actors are going to demolish that menu, man. You're looking, they're going to demolish the whole thing. You know, because you, trust me, if you're filming in the middle of nowhere and you're, and you're getting served food like that, they're going to demolish that fucking menu. They're going to demolish the whole food. They're going to demolish the food, man. Yeah, man, trust me. If you're getting served that kind of food, they're going to demolish the whole food. They're going to demolish the whole food. They're going to demolish the whole food. Yeah. Peter just me, I you know, guarantee whenever they, to end it off, you're guaranteed when the crewmen um when uh, whenever whenever production takes place, obviously. And the, and the act and the production starts obviously, and the actors and it's time for for to eat obviously, and it was the actors and, and the crewmen and me and my wife and Peter Jackson were eating our breakfast, you know what I'm saying we're eating our dinner we're eating our dessert obviously and the crewmen are all staring obviously, you're gonna see some members of the crewmen saying yeah I've been I've been fuck the extras we can't feed them man this is this food's for us, you know what I'm saying yeah I, they can serve all they want they're not getting a piece of our fucking food yeah man I I only ordered food for me and the crewmen and the actors not for you guys. You guys have to bring your own food. You even have to bring... I can't even serve you coffee. I can afford to serve the extras coffee, but if I do that, I told you, it's going to stall production. If, if you, ha you have 30,000 people, 5,000 people, 500 people, you're looking at a long line, man. I don't, I don't have time for that, man. When, whenever production starts, everyone has to work. There's no time for waiting around and fooling around. Everyone signed a contract. We're all entitled to work hard. We're all entitled to work. I don't, I don't, I don't want to stall production. 
And the actors are like, oh, Ivan, am I going to get a piece of that, man? I'm like, no, man, you're not getting a piece of the menu. You can stare all you want. You can be angry all you want. You're not getting a piece of the menu. If there's leftovers, I'm more than happy to give you leftovers. But that's, but that's chances are you, it won't be enough for everyone. It's first comes, first serve. So I'm saying, yeah. Peter Jackson, and Ivan, fuck the actors. They can stare all they want. They're not getting a piece of our fucking food. Yeah, you're not getting a piece of our food. The food is only meant for us. I'm not going to let you do my like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, the actors want a piece of the menu. Yes, the actors are going to want a piece of the menu, obviously. You're looking at amazing. There's nothing, I don't know, there's nothing worse than you. There's nothing worse than you. I don't know, you, you, you bring your own lunch from home, your own sandwich or something like that, and you see the kind of food, you see, you know what I'm saying? You see the kind of food, like, um, the, the, the crewmen are eating. They're eat, you see the crewmen, they eat, they, they get their nice sliders or poutine, their pizza, their fucking.